Bonjour, voici Art Castle Crag dans les rues de Paris pour les nouvelles du Pacifique Britannique. Seriously, you're expecting me to do this whole thing in schoolboy French? Tout à fait raison, Art Castle. I'm surprised we do this at all on what they pay us. C'est honteux. Many thanks, Latrina. As I was saying, this is Hardcastle Crag reporting from the streets of Paris for British Pacific News. Today we are looking at fashionable Parisian life in the 1960s through the eyes of an illustrator of repute. Edmond Kiraz was born in Cairo. He began his career as a political cartoonist after emigrating to Paris following the Second World War. In 1959, while working for the French magazine Jour de France, his boss encouraged him to move from politics to humour. The work of Kiraz was much in demand, initially for cartoons in magazines, and as his popularity grew, for advertising and on packaging. Kiraz's work appeared in advertisements for a wide range of well-known brands, both French and international. From everyday products such as Perrier and Candarelle, to the more expensive end of the market, including Charles Jordan and Renault Motorcar. Other products he helped to promote included El Magazine, Nivea, Haute Couture, Parker Pens, Scandal underwear with lycra control and the airline UTA. Edmond Kiraz was well known in France from his regular cartoons that appeared in Ici Paris and Jour de France. A cover image from July 1966 shows that Brigitte Bardot was a particular inspiration for the illustrator. His cartoons were wildly successful, so much so that they were soon syndicated and a range of dolls was created by the manufacturer Berger Joppo. The original Poupée de Kiraz have unique proportions unlike any other 11 and a half inch doll. The 1960s pop idol Sylvie Vartin helped Kiraz to promote the dolls. The exaggeratedly slender, long-limbed, pouty figures of Les Parisiennes de Kiraz were based on fashionable young women that Edmund Kiraz saw in Paris at that time. Whatever your doll collecting preferences, France probably has the perfect coupé for you. French fashion dolls have long been associated with everything chic, and they have a particular style that's quite unique. It might be the beautiful cut of their clothes, with a nod towards Parisian haute couture, or it could be a look that's just a little bit different from the norm. This documentary features original vintage Parisian de Kiraz dolls, as well as modern interpretations, Les Mamselles de Paris, created by Michael Ben. See if you can spot the difference. A 
Additional vintage-inspired couture has been created especially for this presentation by the doll couturier Diana Lemieux for her bespoke label Matilda Pink. Outfits for these dolls are also made by the talented Katrine at Arena Fashions. It must be said that the dolls themselves were not a huge success at the time. Although the public loved Kira's cartoons, the look, when translated into vinyl, was too extreme for many doll customers, who preferred the more anodyne appearance of Barbie. Surplus dolls were salvaged and repurposed as a range of less fashionable yet utilitarian household products. The dolls suffered the indignity of becoming pens and toilet roll covers, amongst other ingenious uses. Crazy for Kiras. Two dolls repurposed by the manufacturer to boost flagging sales in the 1960s. The crinoline doll is a lamp for Madame's bedside. The skirt lights up. These are hard to find, as they often went up in flames when the wrong, brighter bulbs were used. The head in a dome wall ornament was an ill-conceived idea then, and remains so today. Magnificent in mink. An original Poupe de Kiraz wears a Matilda Pink faux fur white mink suit inspired by vintage Balenciaga from 1967. Ain't Got Nobody, from the Saint Laurent Tom Wesselman Tribute Collection of 1966, Diana Lemieux's tiny scale interpretations of the cocktail dress and the evening gown. Geometric Genius, bold choices in shape and colour, three daywear dresses sporting witty motifs. The Nerve of it. Channeling Les Parapluies de Cherbourg, Catherine Deneuve never had a choice of three colorways. Mondrian Minis, an original Poupée de Kiraz with two Mamselle de Paris, all in variations of Saint Laurent's Mondrian Mini Shifts, as interpreted by Matilda Pink. Singing in the Rain. A trio of beautifully tailored coats, inspired by André Courage. Baguette for two. Les Parisiennes de Kiraz dolls wearing their original outfits. The red shoes are replacements by Michael Ben from his Mamselle de Paris line. There's no more satisfying lunch than a loaf of cardboard bread washed down with a glass of paper wine. Love them or loathe them, these diminutive Parisian fashionistas from the 1960s are rare today. Introduced in 1966, they were only sold in France for two years and were swiftly dropped due to their lack of appeal at the time. These dolls cost 25 francs when they were introduced to the market, or the equivalent of about $5 at the time. But today, due to their rarity, the prices have skyrocketed. Luckily, for modern collectors, reproduction versions are available, giving everyone a chance to own a little piece of French fashion history. <laughs>